Hey everybody, um, wow, we have decided to go and experience orthodoxy in uh, Vegas. So there is no orthodox church as of right now. And we decided that uh, we we're gonna wake up early in the morning. We woke up um, about seven, seven o'clock and left about 8, St. George time, and uh, we were expected to come down here, it takes about two hours, and what happened was uh, my wife realized that there's a time change, so we are arriving here at 9 o'clock in the morning, rather than 10 o'clock. So, um, interesting. So we're gonna be going to a Greek Orthodox church. It's one of the largest Orthodox churches in Vegas. St. George, even though um, it's called St. George, and St. George is a very large saint, a very significant saint, in the Orthodox faith, uh, there is no Orthodox Church. So, um, we actually are um, we actually are going to hopefully start a mission. So, if there is any interest at all with any anybody watching this in the St. George area wants to learn more about orthodoxy and learn about the ancient path, the ancient way, um, please give me a call, 801-347-6482. And I'll be glad to, uh, maybe we can get together, we can get coffee, I can teach you more about the orthodox um, faith, the ancient path, it's the apostolic church. If that is of interest in you, then um, give me a call. But anyway, it's going to be fun uh, going to experience Orthodoxy, uh, the Greek Orthodox Church here in Vegas. Ciao. Okay, so we arrived, and you can see right behind me, um, it's the Mormon Church. It's right there. And... Um, See, I'm going to show you, this is the Orthodox Church. So, you can see it. As a matter of fact, palm trees. Here it is. It's the Orthodox. And then you have the Mormon Church. How funny. How funny. So, we're going to be attending this church right now. This is where it's at. We're gonna be going to Orthos and liturgy and we're excited about it. So you can see it, it is right here. And so here in Las Vegas, visiting, worshiping, taking the Eucharist, um, it's kind of cool. It's massive, I mean, it's so big, it's 10 acres. So uh, they have a lot of money, I guess, here with the people who uh, Orthodox, a lot different than Salt Lake. I love Salt Lake. Salt Lake, uh, St. Peter's, Saints Peter and Paul, where my wife and I got crowned last week, as well as, um, uh, gosh, got baptized uh, a couple, about a month ago. So very special church with Father Justin and Deacon John and Father Paul, beautiful church um, out in Salt Lake. So if you're ever in desire to, to learn more about Orthodoxy in the uh, Utah area, go to St. Peter and Paul, you'll love it. It's a great church. And uh, as far as um, this church, it was a great experience. Will I be keeping attending? Mm, I don't know. Uh, I don't like the large, large, massive church. I like more the the quaint, um, small church. Anyway, I um, thought I would show the comparison how ironic it is to have a Mormon church right next to the ancient church, the original church of God, apostolic church, quite ironic. God bless.